Hello YouTubers, October 16th, 2013. Uh, I just want to show you my uh, Home Depot fancy classifier I made. Not entirely original since uh, the general design is already out there on YouTube, but uh, I thank uh, whoever made that up uh, for my uh, inspiration. So what I've done, I've taken some uh, Home Depot buckets, five gallon buckets, and uh, made a quarter inch grid, quarter inch grid on the, uh, on the top, put some bolts through, six bolts, six, three bolts actually, but there's six uh, bolts on total, and um, this will just go into the bucket, and I can Push it around and classify. One other little attachment I put on it was my uh, little invention. It's uh, 12 neodymium magnets, and this is detachable. But uh, <clears throat> there isn't a lot of black sand around here, so I'm not really using this today. But uh, you can see here some of the black sand that's got on there. I've just put some packaging tape on. And then, uh, if I want to get that all off, I can just take it off and put on a new piece. And, uh, theoretically at least, it's been on here for a bit, so uh, just a little easier than scraping it all off. Although maybe it isn't. <laughs> so I can just scrape it off. Not sure that I really need the tape now, but... Uh, Anyway, uh, just prevent some of the black sand from getting in. So what I've done here is just uh, dug up whatever loose gravel I can get and uh, put it through the classifier. And there's a lot of big slippery black rocks here. So all I've done is gone through here, dump it out, putting my hole there in the second that I'm uh, digging this concentrate out from. And then I've got my handy little juice jug to get the smaller pieces down there. There isn't a lot of uh, real chunky gold around here, it's flower gold. But um, just to give you an idea, that's how it works. You know, I can put it in here as well. This one's all full. That's why I'm just showing this here. But it uh, seems to work quite well. And once I've got all that out, I can throw them out. And I'm taking uh, all of my concentrates here. And I am going to further classify that with a uh, about a 20 mesh strainer. And then I'm taking that and putting it through my my trusty uh, sluice over there. So I'll uh, grab my camera and just show you that. There's the hole I'm working on right now been a few people around here over the uh, years and uh, there's a lot of these holes to prove an area for gold so why try and reinvent the wheel we know it's here so all we have to do is get the concentrates here's my handy big steel shovel that I can uh, lift rocks with pretty pretty good quality my little strainer basket that I'll further classify my cons and then I've got out in the creek here a little bit my sluice I made for some reason I decided I want to make that out of Lexan which I did it works well it's nine inch 
and I figured if I was going to make my own uh, sluice I should use the best possible mat that I could so I got the gold hog definitely have to be the best on the market and they're picking up gold I'm not gonna show you a lot in there right now it's uh, probably starting or going to start to rain shortly uh, this is not ideal here I need to get my uh, legs out for this and set it up a little better but got fairly good flow through there you see there's uh, rapids there a little further down there's more rapids and uh, once I get the legs attached I'll be able to set this up a little better but it, it's working I'm uh, clearing nice up at the top here uh, not so much down the bottom but I should have it out of the out of the water which I don't but I just uh, have to have it in there there's no other choice at the moment but I know there's gold in there and hopefully I can uh, shoot a video as well and uh, show you what I do come up with from there anyway that's what we're doing out here at uh, Vermilion River in Ontario and uh, we've set up just down there a little nobody knows we're here which is just fine but we are allowed to be here and my uh, friend Ken is down there working feverishly away and he's uh, he's also getting cons so that's the plan for today uh, if I get a chance I'll uh, shoot another video later thanks a lot and uh, all I can say is classify 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 Okay, see you later. Bye. Hi, YouTubers. Packager 2 here again. October 16th. Just uh, wanted to show you my classifying. Where we are here on the Vermilion, there's so many big black rocks. It's so difficult to uh, get the looser gravel underneath. But uh, what I've done here, I've got a... Home Depot bucket that must weigh about a hundred pounds when it's full and I'm just in the process of taking this out and putting it in my little I think about 20 mesh sieve and uh, I'm gonna classify this so that I can uh, take whatever's left and then put through my sluice the uh, rocks that are about a uh, quarter of an inch or just a little less are quite heavy and they tend to jam up the, the sluice so I want to get rid of as many of those as I can so all I'm doing is putting this in water with my handy little jug as well that uh, I can see under the water because it's got a piece of black sand in it as well and uh, it works pretty good actually when there's no water in it but I can see underwater in the, the creek makes it a little easier anyway filling up with water doing this with one hand but I'm just uh, moving this around to classify 